British Prime Minister Theresa May has narrowly avoided a Commons rebellion to alter Britain's strategy for leaving the EU. Pro-EU MPs had tabled an amendment to keep Britain in the customs union, but it was shot down by a majority of six. The votes came come amid a troubled week for May, who was facing mutiny and resignations from within her own cabinet. Well, we cross live now to London, where a correspondent, Vincent McAvinney, is joining us. Vincent, I mean, the clock is ticking, but clearly the British government is still very much divided. Good morning, Tessa. Well, you had this incredible split scene yesterday. The EU celebrating signing that huge trade deal with Japan and Theresa May struggling here at the House of Commons right down to the wire to get some kind of agreement between her own party. When it came down to it, this amendment put down by the Remainer MPs to create a customs union if there is no deal by January was defeated only by six votes, with the Conservatives having to rely on four Labour Brexiteers. So incredibly dangerous ground for the Prime Minister. But once again, she just about got through this. But make no mistake, this is incredibly difficult times for her. If she had lost on that, then she would have been going into this summer break with a real cloud hanging over her and questions about how much longer she could have carried on. Yeah, and Vincent, uh, with the threat of rebellion, it seems at every turn, she just manages to, to cling on. Oh, what's next for Theresa May then? She always seems to live a fight uh, another day at the moment. So today she has to go into, P into uh, the House of Commons for PMQs to face down Jeremy Corbyn. Then she has to go before a committee of MPs to take questions to them uh, on a range of issues, not just Brexit. And then she has to take on her own party. She has to meet the 1922 committee and give a speech to rally the troops to get them back behind her. She had tried to finish the parliamentary session tomorrow instead of next week. But uh, Labour turned on that, so she now has to carry on through to next week. And then really all eyes are on Boris Johnson. He resigned over a week ago. He is still set to make his resignation speech in the House of Commons. He is expected to do that in there later on today. And really, Boris Johnson, if he's ever going to make a move to try to take the leadership, it is most likely to be today.